Hmm, that's a nice spinning top. German, I think 1970s, long time ago. Well, why the pencil? Well, because it's got a double purpose. It's a spinning top, but also, if you open the inside, you'll find it's a pencil sharpener. Very nice idea. So you can play with it as a spinning top, but also you can use it usefully for a pencil sharpener. And of course, the shavings are kept inside. They don't make a mess, which is a clever idea. I like the idea of a double purpose thing. That's, that's a good example of one. So I've been looking at unusual pencil sharpeners, and I've been over the years quite a few of them. This one here for all the world looks like a, a key wind, but of course, it's a pencil sharpener. And this time we've got to wind the pencil sharpener around to make it perform. Yes, that's doing very nicely. And it's got a little case to go in like that when it's finished. <laughs> and another one, again, you sharpen the pencil and the pencil sharpenings might come out of the mouth, I don't know, but it's, uh, again, it's a pencil sharpener, but the shape of a mouth with teeth. I like that, I like that design. And this one's a very cute little idea. It's a little toy gun. And there's extra ammunition in here, a little elastic band gun. So when you pull the trigger, oh, push, 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 oh, yes, okay. <laughs> but the idea is it's also a pencil sharpener. That goes in the front there and turns and turns and turns. And if you want to take it out and see it's actually doing anything, there's the interior. It's a pencil sharpener and it fits in the front of the gun. That's a very neat idea. So a dual purpose toy, well, a toy and something useful for the child who's trying to sharpen a pencil and write an essay. Another one shaped like a mouth. That's a very strange one, isn't it? Lips. And the pencil goes in there and turns round and round and round. And there's a space inside where all the shavings keep, so it stops it making a mess on the table on right here. So it stays inside. I think that's a, that's a clever design. Then there's a very advanced Japanese design. I've got two samples of this one, which I picked up in different years. The idea of this is you dial for the pencil, for the size of the pencil. There's a number three pencil, a number two pencil. It's referring, in fact, to the diameter of the pencil. Either you have a very thick pencil like this one here, or a normal size pencil like that. And depending on that, you can actually dial up the number which is suitable to that um, size of pencil. And that one, this one will do the same thing. The Japanese company's been making them for a number of years, and it's a strange idea. I've never seen them in the West, but interesting concept. The most advanced one I've ever had was this one here from that lovely company with design in mind from California. He's battery operated, as you can see, because the eyes are alight. And when you put a pencil in, I better put a, put a long pencil in for this one, keep my self well away from the yeah. Oh boy. So this is an extraordinary idea because what the battery does, or the, the motor inside, is to turn the pencil sharpener, save you having to turn it. So in order to demonstrate it, I've got to put my finger over a little safety device here that stops kids damaging their fingers when the cover's not on. Push it down and now... What a lovely idea. Well, now that I've sharpened the pencil, I'd better write with it, didn't I? Here's a bit of paper. Tim. Yes. There is one final pencil sharpener to show you, though. This one here, which... Um, doesn't seem to work very well, because it's not a tensile sharpener. Nope, something else. Have you guessed? Yes, it's an eraser, I'm afraid. Isn't it the case with many of the toys I find, they are something else, either misdirections or they just have a double second function completely unrelated to what they're supposed to be doing, which is sharpening pencils. And this one is a lovely example of it. <laughs> it's not a pencil sharpener, it's an eraser. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you.